Hey guys, today is December the 11th of 2017 and I want to go over the uranium sector looking at the ETF URA. So please pause the video and read the video disclaimer. Uh, I got back from my uh, little getaway and I wanted to do a video on URA. There's a lot of stuff I want to talk about in regards to like Bitcoin, ET. Um, Bitcoin futures, XTB, uh, euro, dollar, and also um, gold, crude, uh, so much stuff I want to go over. But I want to take it one step at a time and go by my last video and see where we left off in our forecasting using uh, WDGAN's technique. Uh, this is going to be a long video, so I just want to warn you, if you can't watch it, this is not a 2-3 minute, you don't have that time, then don't watch it at all. If you got some time, save it for later, watch it, subscribe, but if you don't have time right now, you're probably not going to get it. So just look at something else. For those that got the time and want to uh, follow, especially the uranium sector, and follow the URA ETF and, you know, the other stocks like UEC and all these other stocks that are uh, chemical and whatnot. This uh, video is for you. We're going to be doing the uh, price and time analysis for December. Uh, and we're going to start off with uh, looking at the uh, monthly statistic report. Looking at the uh, major uh, trend, you can see that it does a low um just probably one. could be a possible low. I'm just going to leave it like that uh, for December. Uh, looking at the long uh, term, these are major term. Major term, long term, uh, there's a possibility that could be a low. And you can see that the average kind of grows. Uh, the totals, which is one. Uh, and then into the intermediate uh, term, it shows that it's flat. It's there's there was a a, a high uh, in the month of December and a low in the month of December, and the average was pretty high. It was like five something, five point thirty three. Uh, the totals were uh, two, so it was balanced. But then in the short term, which is kind of choppy, but it just kind of showing you what happens in the month of December. Uh, it shows that there is a high. Uh, there's normally kind of like nine highs. Nine or ten highs, I think, and it's like uh, maybe an eight or nine low on the month of December. So the average is uh, somewhere around, I believe, either 19 right up there. Um, the total, and then the average is 17 point something. So that's just showing you kind of like what happens in the month of December uh, statistically. So there's a uh, major term you got two lows it's kind of flat so it's kind of even out and then it gets so it's really close i think there could probably be a pullback and i'm going to show you why uh, if you haven't gotten into the uh, uranium sector let's go into uh some news your uranium suppliers respond to production cuts and for those that hear my voice i'm under the weather so please forgive me i'm trying to fight this cold uh, I don't know if you've heard, but Cameco and uh, I'm probably going to jack this up. Kazat Temprom, they announced a production cut that brought speculators and people into uh, the uranium sector. And we have a pop. Now, for those that have been following me and watch my videos in the past, I got a video out there called Uranium... Um, 10-year double degen uranium 10-year cycle the cycle kicked in in july uh, uh, exactly not the date but i'm just telling you the the month was july so from july august september october we made a low and then all these months three months from the uh the 10-year cycle all this news is coming out so some people ask like so wait a minute is the cycle come first or the news I honestly think is the cycle that comes first, and then the cycle produces these kinds of events, this this mindset, the psychology of you know, you know, we just had enough, we can't go lower, we're not making money, this is insane, we just got to cut production. 
maybe we just got to follow what the Saudis are doing. When they cut production, prices go up. But this is, this is just insane. No one's making money. Even the people that are producing the most, because that, that time Prom and, and Cameco, they ain't making squat. Nobody's making money, especially at these prices. And it's been, it's been going lower and lower for like the last, since what, the high of Fukushima? I mean, it's been just trending lower. So we're putting WD GAN's cycle, 10-year cycle to the test, and so far... So far, it's looking good. Let's get into the charts. We first start out with our uranium futures. And for some reason, in this trading uh, tradingview.com's uh, website, all everything just kind of got jacked up once volume kicked in. So I don't know what happened. I had my waves. I had a one, you know, wave to five up, and then it came down. So it just got all this combobulated. So what I did was... I put just just showing you the changes. So it's A, B, C, and this is where we put our low here. And we popped. Actually, yeah, put a low here, popped, came down. Um, let's see. Yeah. Because in the uh, URA, uh, October 30th, that's where we made a low. And it popped up here, came down. So now it's just kind of consoli consolidating. We have to break 2675 in the futures. Once we break that, we already, prices are setting a base under the, the 50 simple moving average. Um, I think that's, yeah, MA. I probably have to change that. And then this is the uh, 100. So we're going to collide with the 100. But under the we're already under the 50, which is kind of going back and forth. And, you know, we're having a double top right here. This 2590 is like resistance. So we got to keep an eye on that. Let's continue into the uh, charts. So right here, you can see that we're above this moving averages. Um, the last video I did talking about the uranium sector, I said that there was a possibility that the low was going to be on November 15th. Well, November 15 didn't create a swing pivot low. That's what I was betting on because of my calculations. So my calculations didn't pan out, but I did get in on November 15th. I said also that the October 30th is a good possibility of a possible swing low. Very good. That date and November 15 were the two dates that I had my eye on. And you can see that the cycle right here. Uh, and then we got one turning right here, which is going to be the 13th. Uh, that's going to be the next couple of days. Let's see how price action behaves. Uh, it pulls back. It's nice because it gives you an opportunity to get in. Double DGAN says the low risk entry to get in into a market that's about to change in trend is when it pops and it pulls back. And it's about to do that third wave. Once it does that pullback get in and then the third wave will kick in so right now it looks like we're in the first wave so it might run you know it might continue going higher i'm not saying no it might push 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 higher uh and i got some targets that i'm watching uh, but it could also pull lower uh and then really rip up uh, like you see right here we made a low on the ninth went all the way up and put a high on the 12th which will be tomorrow. So let's see tomorrow's price action for Uganist. Remember days. Remember cycles of days. Anniversaries. Gan taught that. You look at 12-12. You look at 12-12 this year. What happens? If you see price action doing this, then chances are it might do that too. I don't know if it's going to do the swing low on the same day, but uh, sometimes cycles work very close. Uh, so right there, 1228, and then boom, it shot up. So you got one, two, three, four, five, and then it came down. So let's see what kind of wave pattern uh, URA is going to do uh, now. Let's continue going. I don't want to take too much time. Uh, let's see the grid. Uh, you can see that the uh, trends uh, is pushing higher. We're right in this channel, so that looks good. I did my Andrew's Pitchfork. Uh, and put it all the way to the swing low of October 30th. 
Uh, these things right here are, you know, uh, cell area. Um, cell, this is actually a buy. This is cell. I never made it down there. So we're, we're kind of hovering right here. This could be a buy area. Uh, so, but you know, as support, sometimes you become resistance, resistance becomes support. So, this stuff sometimes goes interchanging. Uh, in regards to uh, time, we're at that 10 270. Let's continue going. I don't see really nothing there interesting. Uh, the GAN grid, uh, we're right here, uh, that level, which is at 16 18. Keep an eye on that. Uh, resistance up there, so we'll see. And uh, Fibonacci, remember, look at this, I don't know if I showed this on my video, one of the cycles on the Fibonacci uh, ended right on October 30th, and then we just popped. So the next uh, arc of the Fibonacci, uh, where they line up, is going to be, and look, we're hitting resistance right here on the arc. That's why sometimes you got to use the arc. Uh, arc Fibonacci's are, are good uh, indicators. Uh, I'm, I, I love geometry. I love stuff with geometry in the markets. It's it's awesome. So right now we, we're here uh, for resistance. I think the high right now today was what 1636. So let's see how that goes. And then the next one will be uh, February the first of 2018. I keep an eye on that in regards to the uh, Fibo arc. Uh, and that's it. Uh, volume, we can see that volume. Look at volume picking up nicely. So that's good. There's interest. Once the uh, the boys started cutting, uh, Cameco and these guys, Kazatum Prom, you know, interest came in right away. So that's good for us, uh, for us bulls. The stocks, stochastics are just chopping up, but, you know, above the 70 right there, 72, 70, 74. RSI hasn't hit the the overbought, 81, but it's trending up there. Oscillators are positive, pushing higher, so that's good. On, on balance volume, trending higher, choppy, but trending higher, so that's good. That means there's action, there's uh, interest. MACD, positive. Uh, showing it that the strength now is uh, the trend of the strength is strong. You get that? The blue, remember this? The blue. That's the color blue. That's what's saying that the the strength of to the upside is really good and strong. When it's red, it's not that good. So we're I came in here on the 15th, and then because I was looking for a pullback, and that was the day I was going to get in, no matter what happened, because that was the calculations I had. Uh, but it wasn't that it was going to pull back and me to get in. I was thinking that was going to be the swing low. It was going to like probably put a low somewhere around here and maybe take this out. And that's, I was looking for that. But that didn't happen. But we're doing good. We're in. Uh, cycles. Cycles is showing somewhere from right now the 12 and 13, 14 or 15, yeah, 14. They could probably be a pullback. But if it doesn't, it could continue pushing higher. It's just, you know, it's just going to do its thing. Maybe it's just going to invert and continue pushing. And then maybe on January the 9th, maybe it pulls back. We'll see. Just just, just showing you what the cycles are showing. Time cluster, uh, 1227. There's something there. Uh, nothing here. Nothing really major here. Just only 12, 27, so let's see what's going on there. Uh, they, uh, this is another uh, software I use. You can see a possible a wave 2, and this could be the area right here. Anywhere between the 14 and the 13 in that range, could you beat your wave 2, and hopefully it'll hold there and then shoot up. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, volume. Yeah, that's all... MACD, yep, CCI, everything, it's it's on the green, it's up, it's going up, so that's good. Let's go to my GAN grid. Let's see what we got here. So this is the GAN grid from the uh, the low of the uh, November 9th, uh, 2016. And you know, the, the first impulse wave, we shot down. So this is where we're at right here. Oops. 
I'm too fast here. I'm too fast. Too fast. All these drugs I'm taking are kill this cold. Just got me knocked out. So let's see. We're 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 pumping up. This is the target I have. 1763. Uh, if it doesn't pull back, if it continues pushing higher, uh, once we hit 1763, uh, just keep your eye on it. Trail your stop. Uh, we're right now right here. I'm just putting this uh, angle right here just in case if it pulls back. I want to see maybe that could be a possible low, which is 1227, which is interesting. Well, not interesting because we don't know if that's a swing top. Uh, you know, we're just seeing day by day what's happened. So it pulled back. This is the 50%. It was dancing around here, kind of did a, you know, bull trap, but then faked out the bears and then it popped. All these angles right here are just showing possible targets, but it's following the angle. That's what I wanted to show you. The speed of the angle, what Gan said in geometry, the speed of the angle, it's going higher. So this is a possible target, that 1877, that 1730, uh, and if you go all the way, all the way to like um, 1952, which would be the 1933, which is a February 15 high uh, that it did just this year. Uh, so those are the targets. I got in at 1311 on the 15th. This is it. Green, green. And I'm trailing my stop. Uh, let's see. What's the next chart I want to show? Uh, this is from the... Uh, 1131 low this is another GAN grid I did uh, and for those that follow the GAN grid this is the 45 uh, the good thing about it is that it pierced and broke through the first impulse wave of uh, 2016 that right there so that is good that it's really good look at it right there we end the GAN grid on this chart on 12.22, so that's something we need to keep an eye on, uh, and that's where we're at right here, I mean, it's it's pretty wide open, and the only thing you got to watch is the 12.22, if you go back to the uh, 11, uh, the 11, 9, 12, 26, 16 low uh, GAN grid, the GAN grid ended right here on the uh, 12.6, and it had to pull back down, fake low, fail new low, and then popped. So you got to watch out for 1646, uh, 1742, and this is the target I have. But, you know, this is kind of like a, like a box range right here that I have a target. So keep an eye on 1742 and 1763. If we get to continue this week pushing higher and kiss that, uh, just keep an eye that it, that it doesn't does it turn over. Because if it does, then, you know... You can either raise your stop or lock in profits or take half uh, and wait for that pullback, which will create will create uh, wave two and then shoot to wave three. Uh, Fifty percent level would be a good, nice uh, target if we continue pushing higher for support for wave two to build up for wave three. And last, I want to show you these are possible targets too that I use in this chart. Um, when we did the first impulse wave and pulled back down, that was a target, 1559. It just broke through that. So what you do is you take the next impulse wave right here, put that swing swing low right there. And uh, I'm going to have to put this on the weekly and get closer so you can see what's going on. All right. So 1774 which I got the target of, what, 1763. So keep an eye on that. Um, and what else? Let's do this to... We take this low. That's just a whole complete move from there. We could put this swing low, which is a 15 where I got in. And you got 1656 target right there. You see that it was holding on the, uh, on the 45%, 1519, and then it popped. So let's see if he gets up there. Uh, and if it gets up there and it pushes higher, then, you know, it's going to be kissing 17. Believe me. Uh, let's see what else I wanted to show. Let's get this out. Stops. This is what I do for my stops. I put all these on right here. And when I got in here, I normally put them one, two, one, two, three days 
back. And when you have a pattern like this, you don't go one, two, three. doesn't make sense to put your stops here or your indicator. So I go from the lowest candle and count one, two, three. And this is where it's at. So my stops are right here. Let's see. Right here. 16, 64. So now I'm going to have to raise it and go up here. This is the SARS technique stops. Uh, this is the uh, ATR stop loss, so it goes a little higher. Uh, and then you go over here. So I could pick either this uh, uh, 1423, or I could, you know, if I want, you know, less risk. I don't want to risk too much. 1462, and just raise my stop, and then see what happens. If something happens, and it boom, it crashes. At least I got something. I didn't lose it all. You see what I'm saying? You don't want to give it all back. I don't want to give it all back from 1311. So you have to have stops. And this is one of the things that has worked out for me. Uh, when I first started, I used to put it right here, and I would have been stopped out right here with this chop. See? I mean, it, it adjusts as price goes up, but I would have gone, like, out of the trade. So what I do is I go three days back from the lowest, closest candle. And go three days back. And that's what I was willing to risk. So let's take that off. I told you it was going to be a long video. But, you know, the momentum is growing. And I'm really excited about uranium, the uranium sector. Uh, and looking at the URA, you could trade UES, uh, Amir Anani's company. You could trade Cameco. Uh, but you have, to look at, you have to look at these stocks and these charts. Uh, squaring the range, something Double E Gant and Michael Jix, uh, Michael uh, J uh, Michael S Jenkins uh, teach. Uh, you can see squaring the range. I square the range from the uh, November 9th low. And you can see that we were coming down this angle, uh, and you can see that this is a uh, moving average, which is the uh, 50 and the 100. And we come over here. We put a low hit. So you got to keep an eye on that angle right there. Another uh, scoring the range I do. Uh, let's see. Scoring the range actually from the low that we just made. So you can see that this is uh, 1612. We got to keep an eye on that. If we can't hold that, uh, then we're going to probably shoot lower, make a wave uh, two and maybe this could be support, but I'm just speculating. I'm just showing you the different things that I watch. Uh, let's see. We could minimize this, close that, and there's another level you want to watch, which is uh, six fifteen ninety four. This is squaring the range. Um, let's see over here. Eleven eighty three. Same thing. Look at that, 15, 16, 28. I don't think I have anything on this just besides that one I just showed. Yep, just that one. And the swing, the swing uh, targets that I have. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. 23 minutes, wow, pretty long. Um, I like to at least cut it to 15, 20, but I had a lot to show. I think that, you know, this swing low is in. Uh, if you ask me, I think it's going to continue going higher, but I wouldn't doubt it doing it a pullback. For all you guys that missed the move, there's going to be an opportunity that's going to pull back. Uh, URA is going to squeeze some of the bulls to see if they really believe this going to be a pop. So some of them are going to come weak, some of them are going to get scared, and they're going to come out, pressure's going to build, and then the low-risk traders are going to pile in, and then wave three will develop. I'm here. Let's see how it goes. I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on URA.